Good evening, everybody. It is 10.52 here in Florida, and I just wanted to come on tonight uh, because um, I was sent something, and and I just uh, found it to be unbelievable what has been said about it. Now, on January 13th, there was a so-called false alert in Hawaii, a missile alert, um, that a, I guess that the missiles were coming in and that, of course, it really went nationwide, of course, and um, scared everybody. And everybody was running and this and that and the other. Now, I found this report... Um, from the New York Post, and I'm just going to read it to you, uh, and then I'll give you my opinion of it afterwards. It says, worker who sent out Hawaii missile alert is reassigned. Now, this was put out on January 14, 2008 at 7.24 p.m., um, and I'll read to you what it says here. The Hawaii public employee who plunged the state into chaos by accidentally sending out an incoming missile emergency alert Saturday has been reassigned according to reports. The unnamed emergency department worker will not be fired because he made an honest mistake. Hawaii Emergency Management Agency spokesman Richard Raposa told the Washington Post. Part of the problem was it was too easy for anyone to make such a big mistake, Raposa said. We have to make sure that we're not looking for retribution, but we should be fixing the problems in the system. I know that it's very, very difficult situation for him. Well, my opinion is, is that's hogwash. I don't believe it. Um, there's a couple different things happening here is what I believe has happened. That there was some actual um, missiles that may have been shot down. Or I believe that they did this so that they could see how people would react. Now... That's just my opinion uh, because I find it very hard to believe that it could take just one person to be able to send out that kind of an alert to where it could cause wrecks. It, I mean, it could cause all kind of things to happen. So, you know, there has to be some kind of chain of command that would have had to have gone down the, the uh, line to be able to say, N now you can, yeah, go ahead and send that out. I don't believe that. I, I, I don't believe this at all. If anybody has any other information on it, please send it to me if you would. And um, if anybody has anybody in the military in your family, if you if, if you could find that, that kind of information for me, what kind of protocol would be for someone to be able to set off a national alert, nuclear attack alert, or missile attack alert, um, what the protocol would be on that. I'd be so appreciative, guys. But anyways, when I saw this, I was like, you're joking. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for one minute. Um, I mean, I don't know what the whole deal was, but... Um, Anyways, I just don't believe that. But anyways, if anybody has any information on this, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments, comment section, and I'd be uh, very, very appreciative. Anyways, you guys have a great night. God bless you. Amen.